Hello, hi. Me and the hubby is, um, is back. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. I finally got him to, you know, well, I didn't. He was like, want to make a video? So I guess it's one of those spur of the moment. I was like, Anyway, so what we're coming to you all um, tonight uh, about is basically coming together in hard times. So I pray that someone is encouraged and uplifted and that you go through your tests and your trials with your husband um, rejoicing in victory instead of uh, going your separate ways you would come together even more so through your trials and that's why it's very imperative it's very important for you to be uh, a very tight-knit unit and it's very important for you to pray and for you to fast and seek God have separate prayer lives as well as pray together and that's why we talked about in our previous video about being two whole people before you go together and talking about when you come together as husband and wife it's double the warfare so you don't want your testing and trials to push you all again like I already just said you know further apart you want it to draw you together so we're just going to be telling parts of our testimony of the rough times yeah you know we had the wedding God did an awesome thing with the wedding awesome thing with bringing us together we told you all how the clashing then how we came together or whatever like that but you know we don't want anybody to think you know it's just you know wedding flowers glitz glamour getting pretty getting cute getting handsome shape ups walking down the aisle you know like we said there's some warfare that comes along with it so um you know that finances um, statistically is the number one cause of divorce well we're here to tell you you know that even in rough situations with your finances you can still come together you can still pull through together um, like I said we're going to be sharing different parts of our testimony in the beginning coming together and first we're going to start with the house um, you've already heard me tell the testimony of God blessed us and worked everything out with the mortgage but before then um, with us coming together um, you know how one may be worried about that credit or coming together it's like I take on your debt you take on my debt type thing I didn't really have any credit he had just tried to get his credit together and then things kind of fell through with the house and you can jump in honey at any time um yeah so we it's crazy because you know a lot of times people um you know, look and, and, you know, think that, you know, they are such the perfect couple. And I always emphasize this because sometimes it gets on my nerves so bad. Um, it really does. It, it, it just irritates me. But, uh, you know, but I thank God for it. But a lot of stuff can't be seen, you know. Um, it took a lot of, you know, although we've been together um, going on three years now, you know, it took a lot of, of a hard work and prayer fasting um you know it, it was times where we had no money we had no food when my mom and my grandmother um came over our house one time and it just so happened my grandmother went in our freezer and saw nothing and was like where's your food and you know and i'm like you know you know and as men we you know we want to cover up and, and want to say you know we're, we're good you know you know we're fine you know and she you know they provided for us you know but you know that's just a part of the testimony that a lot of people don't know about you know that you know when we go to church and 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 singing on the choir and you know was on you know youth staff at the time and you know doing different things you know and not even having food in the house can you i know, say something so. right there and some and some people might say you know well that's just not wise to get married if you know you don't even have the finances but it wasn't like that I had you know finances to support myself he had you know finances to support himself but sometimes it gets you know situations get a little rough and you can't you can't predict when those things you know are gonna happen so it's not like we we went into this thing he didn't have a home to put me in you know this that, and the yeah, other this wasn't, happened afterwards. you know like that this, this is when the afterwards. test came yeah, after this was afterwards. You we know, had the money, together. you know, we had the money, you know, when we got married, God blessed us. At first we didn't have, 
but God blessed us, you know, to have the dream wedding that we desired. Um, you know, even without honeymoon, being able to go to Rome and, you know, just having to spend the money, being able to refurnish our house. He um, did that thing. Every room, <laughs> you know, brand new furniture in every room. Now, but in the beginning, it wasn't like oh, yeah, that. that was, our rough time. What was that? that we was, were, oh, that was um, last year. It, yeah, that was later. In the okay, beginning, yeah, that was we later. were in the house. And it was no, no furniture, furniture we, at all. And we enjoyed each other. <laughs> we sat on the floor in that big open space on the carpet. Yeah. Television, we didn't even have a stand to put the television on. The television was on the floor. And we would lay there on the floor like this, watching DVDs and watching movies. And then when we got a little bit more extra money, we bought a little fruiton. Then yeah. we got a little stand. You know, but we made the she best of those. She got me a flat screen. We made the best of those. Um... We made the best of those times. So, like I, I said before, you know, you don't look and try to mimic other people's relationships or get this false, um, hope. false hope watching movies. You know, where you watch, you know, watching movies and love stories or whatever. It doesn't always happen that way. But we made, like I said, the best out of um, out of our situation, and we trusted God, and we. <laughs> kept praying and we kept fast and like I said we desired the furniture you know and stuff like that but we did what we you know could do for the time being and then with the mortgage um being behind. uh be, being behind and them him, him being off of work on disability and you know it was just a tough time because he was seeking for another job um he was hardly getting enough money to pay you know the bills the bg and e was overdue but i trust god we trusted god and we continued to pay our tithes continue to pay offering and i mean that bg and e never got cut off you know i thank god we still were able to have now, cable there was Sometimes a point it, when <laughs> i did like fall back and tried to hold all my tithes and offering you know but i didn't have enough so you know and i told you guys before i didn't have enough to um to pay what I was trying to pay, so I just ended up paying my tithes and offering, and God just completely wiped the slate clean. But during this time, also, I, as I said, I had an injury, and um, they, pre this was like a year span, and my injury at first wasn't as bad, and then I went back and got a second MRI a year later, and um, two of my discs in my neck were ruptured, and it was um, crushing my spine. And so I had took it to my personal doctor, and my personal doctor was like, it was one of the worst in my eyes she had ever seen. Um, I was facing paralysis from the neck down. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so they were just telling me, you know, that they didn't even want me riding in the car, let alone driving. Um, I was a fall risk. If I was to fall a certain way or wrong way, I could um, I could be paralyzed for life. So it was, just, it was just such a, a hard time. And then during that time, even still, um, I remember having to go through, um, right before I had my surgery, uh, I, I kept having these skin rashes and didn't know where it was coming from. And they tried to say it was some type of skin cancer. Skin cancer. Um, so, you know, on top of the mortgage, on top of the hardship, on top of me being on disability, um, we, uh, <laughs> they called us in and said that it was, it was some form of skin cancer. It was inconclusive. They really couldn't. Uh, let us know what it was or what kind it was um, so you know we continued to pray and and fast and you know and come to find out it wasn't it was some type of weird rash or, or something that came or whatever um, mm -hmm. and then even the, in that same time period um, I kept getting headaches and then come to find out I had fluid on the front of my brain so you know it was just such a long 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 battle um, and, and this was when we first, you know, this was, I know this was a hard year. time for her. And even, and I always tell people like, our first year, I think was, was like one of the best. Like most people say your first year is the mm -hmm. most hardest, it's the most, uh, you know, we really had fun despite of all the warfare, you know, and everything that was taking place. We really had fun. And, um, and that's why, um, just piggybacking off of what he said going back to ties and going back to all the all the different things that transpired and that we still had fun that we still enjoyed each other that's why it's so important you know as women and as men that we realize that we're not just 
arm pieces as we were saying in our last video that we aren't just this cute person to be on you know his um side or his hip and he isn't just you know just you know romeo or whatever just whining and dining you this thing you know is serious and with it comes you know warfare and um you know had i not been prayed up or had we both not had you know relationship with god this is something that could have you know torn us up you know some people when things go wrong with their husbands they're like you know wow god should should you know did i really do the right thing did you know oh my goodness he's sick oh my goodness you know um you know why is this happening i could have made situations worse for him i could have been like oh my goodness they said you were scared oh my god oh my god the calling people and this that and the other but instead you know because we both had relationship with god and a prayer life i was able to say okay well I, I, we bind this in the name of jesus and he was like you know yeah all right so we prayed or whatever we went on about it is surgery god we rather not have the surgery but if you allow us something gonna come out of this okay Okay, all right, Jesus sent the list of all the things that they said um, could possibly go wrong, including death. We were looking down that list. I'm like, I bind it, I bind it, I bind it, I bind it in the name of Jesus. Okay, all right. And so I was just like, you know, God, you just totally have your way in this situation. And we still just, you know, just went you know went along with it and was like god it's in your hands and you know that takes relationship with god a relationship with god to to really be able to do that because so many things come but if you if you not focus on the issue of at hand and really try to see past what god is really doing within the storm and why these things are coming um he knows that you know these attacks were kind of related towards how God was going to use him in ministry. And we have to be that backbone for each other. We have to be that prayer warrior for each other. We have to come together in tough times. Ladies, we can't be crying and zapping out and getting all nervous and scared. And, and fellas either. You know, when one is kind of shaking, the other one needs to be strong enough to be like, look, we're going to get through this. We're going to do this. I don't care what the doctors say. I don't care what the report is. I don't care what the mortgage is. And actually, when the mortgage thing was going on, we were actually in the engagement stage. And we walked around that house together. He anointed that house. We walked around it. And I was just praying all through the front of the house to the back. I remember him sitting in that little, the, the kids, one of their little chairs. <laughs> and he was sitting there praying. And I was like, God, you are not an Indian giver. We thank you right now. Because you showed me the house uh, before when I was 22 years old. Not even thinking about a husband. So, and sometimes we, we, we recognize that it's been a prophetic word. That have come out over your life or God told you something specifically and then when you get with the person you know God told me oh wow you're gonna be wealthy your husband's gonna be wealthy it was you know I got so many confirmations on that and then when we meet he's struggling with the mortgage you know <laughs> struggling in finances we have no furniture then at one point no food and I remember times where we just had to you know, we were cooking. We couldn't really go out like that and eat and say, oh, I have a taste for this and get it. We had to eat what we had in there. We hot dogged and beaned, beaned it and cinnamon with a little brown sugar, did, you know, for a minute. <laughs> And we still enjoyed each other and say, God, we know that our time is coming. And my we know car that broke. It's time. Yes, his car Her broke car down broke. and my car broke down. I mean, this mm -hmm. was back to back. We we were laying in a bed and the horn is like, burn. Burn, burn, burn. Nah, and we it like, was consistent. That was it was just like a, it was just a straight horn. That car. Like her horn was going off in the middle. Like I ran outside with my underwear. We did on. not know it was mine. <laughs> I was like, well, they turned that and horn that off. That joint was so loud, and it was just messed up. My car got messed up, so we were we only had one car. She lit, she worked like Hunt Valley. Yeah, like thirty. She, yeah, she worked a good so 30, 40 minutes from where. You know, we live and, and back and at the time I was going back and forth to work. So I was catching a bus to work because my car wasn't working, you know, and, and especially after having a car all these years and then you got to go back catching the bus. It was, it was real. It was kind of, you know, rough or whatever, you know, but, um, you know, so go ahead. 
Oh, we'll we'll be back <laughs> with part two.